Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring five of my favourite essential oils that I recommend for Aquarius. Now when we're talking about Aquarius, this applies to different kind of areas of our life. So this can apply to those that are born under the sign of Aquarius and they'll obviously have strong Aquarian energies which these oils can be really beneficial for. However, if you have a really good knowledge of your birth chart, you may realize that maybe you have an Aquarian Ascendant or an Aquarian Moon or another strong Aquarian energy. Maybe a lot of planets just in the sign of Aquarius when you're born. And this will be applicable for you as well. However, for all of us, each of the star signs represents one twelfth of our life, all different aspects. And the aspect that Aquarius represents is our community contribution, our um, wanting to expand and make this world a better place. You see, the Aquarian nature is looking for perfection. It's looking for a better way. It's looking for utopia, for trying out different ideas and keep on evolving and changing in different ways. Aquarius is ruled by the planet Uranus. Now, Uranus is a bit of an odd planet in many different ways. So all the planets are kind of going around the sun in this way. And, you know, Saturn has its rings going that way. So everything's kind of on that flat, whereas Uranus, it's still going around that in that trajectory, but it's actually tilted on the side. So it's kind of hovering around and its rings go up and down. So a little bit odd like that. Now, the other interesting thing about Uranus, when you go back into the mythology of Uranus, um, Uranus is um, about a, it was a god who had his, uh, who was castrated. And so he basically represents those that are different, those that are outside the square and that type of thing. So at different times in the world, we all need to be a little bit different, stand out and be unique, honor our uniqueness as well and start to you know if we keep on doing what we've always done we're going to get what we've always got uranus and aquarius is very much about innovation finding better ways ways for the greater good and looking at how we can go out and contribute to make this world a better place so the five oils that we're going to explore today help the aquarian nature and allow all of us to uh, to honor that aspect of our lives where we go out and contribute to the community in the in whatever way we can to make this world a better place The first oil that has a really strong link to Aquarius has to do with the formation of the constellation Aquarius, and there's a bit of a mythological story behind that. So I'm sure you've heard of Zeus, also known as Jupiter by the Romans. Now he became rather fond of a beautiful young mortal boy by the name of Ganymede, and he invited Ganymede to come up to heaven, up to Olympus, to be Zeus's cupbearer. Now, a cupbearer is someone who would be there when all the gods would feast, and he'd be making sure that Zeus's cup was never empty. And this was Zeus's one way that Zeus could have the boy near him all the time, and, you know, they could share close little moments and that type of thing. So, anyway, Zeus's wife, Juno, also known as Hera, started to get a little bit jealous and of how much attention that Ganymede was getting. And so she started to bl plot this young boy's demise. Zeus got wind of this and didn't want to lose Ganymede, so he decided to make him immortal. How he did this was he gave him a cup of tansy, and this turned the boy from a mortal into a god, and he couldn't die. And then he placed him in the stars as the sign Aquarius. Now we know the symbol for Aquarius is the cupbearer, and so this basically represents Ganymede in that type of way. So the oil that this links to, obviously, is blue tansy. Now, blue tansy is a yellow flowered plant. It's part of the chamomile family. Why is it called blue? Well, when you get the oil, it's actually a really deep blue color. Now, you do have to be aware that do not drink blue tansy, although Ganymede drank it. Who knows what he was drinking at the time, but I would not recommend you drink this. It'll probably prove your mortality rather than make you immortal. But obviously having this energy connected to um, the Aquarius sign and that myth, that brings in that Aquarian energy. Now, the other beautiful thing about blue tansy is this is, it gives us, being a calming oil, it gives us the ability to stop and think about our dreams. For those that don't like blue tansy, I find that they often bury their dreams or ignore their dreams or feel that they, are, they can't pursue their dreams in different ways. Remember before I was talking about that Aquarian and Uranian nature, where it's very much about wanting to explore the possibilities and go out and make this world a better place, to improve, to be innovative. Well, blue tansy, in that it empowers all of us to follow our dreams, to follow our passions, and to make our biggest contribution to the world. So when you want to drop in, relax, and kind of theorize on how you could make this world a better place, blue tansy is beautiful to work with. Either using it aromatically and just inhaling it while you meditate, or it's really great with skincare as well. 
Now, you can put in a diffuser, but that blue color will tend to stay in your diffuser. So just be aware of that. But blue tansy, beautiful for working with that Aquarian energy. Next, I'm not going to talk about one other oil. I'm going to talk about three different oils, but they are gifted from the same tree. It's the bitter orange tree. Now, the bitter orange tree is a very generous tree. It gifts us petty grain essential oil from its leaves and its twigs, from its fruit and the rind of the fruit, it gives us bitter orange oil, and from its beautiful blossoms, it gives us the most heavenly neroli essential oil. Now, all of these have a bit of energy associated with that Aquarian energy. First of all, let's talk about neroli, one of my absolute favorites. Now, this, or this from the orange blossoms, the bitter orange blossoms, has been found in scientific research to actually help people think outside the square. Again, a real Aquarian energy. The other thing about neroli is there is historically there are so many different stories about how um, neroli has been very seductive. So, for example, nymphs would use the scent of neroli to seduce young men and women out of their bedchambers and into the forest for a night of wild discovery and pleasure. Ladies of the night would use and wear neroli to seduce clients, and brides would use the scent of neroli to help them relax on the first night with their, um, with their new man. Even Cleopatra is said to have used neroli and jasmine when she sailed up the Nile to seduce Mark Antony, she anointed her sails with the um, essential oils or the oils of these two flowers. So you've got this real kind of enticing you out of your comfort zone. And remember I was talking before about that Aquarian nature is if we do what we've always done, we're going to get what we've always got and we can't be innovative that way. Well, Neroli really helps you to be innovative, to step outside, to think of how can we do things a little bit different. Now, the really beautiful thing about this is Neroli is kind of counteracted by pedigree. In order to have these beautiful fruits and blossoms that give us these essential oils, first we must grow a branch, a twig, and a leaf. So these are the foundations, and pedigree helps to bring in the foundation for Aquarius to make sure that yes, you have these great, great ideas, but what's the actual plan? So pedigree can be a really good one. It's very calming and soothing, really great in the diffuser at night or in meditation to go, right, you've got an idea, you're really excited, you're all in the head, come back down for a moment, and what's the actual practical way of bringing this great idea into physical manifestation? Bitter orange, this beautiful fruit oil, make sure that we have realistic expectations. So it really helps us to look at the joy, but also to make, to kind of measure that we don't get overly excited, but also to make sure that we don't um, get underwhelmed either. So don't get overwhelmed or underwhelmed. Is bitter orange is very much about realistic expectations. So any oil gifted from the bitter orange tree really helps with that Aquarian nature of coming up with innovative ideas, but making sure that we're grounded enough to not get too excited and make sure we have a really strong foundation and a really strong plan to put our goals and our new aspirations into implementation and actually bring them into reality. There's another really great citrus oil that works well with the Aquarian energy and that is kumquat. Now what makes a kumquat different from all other citruses is it's kind of reversed. Normally, we eat the pulp of the citrus fruits and we throw away the rind. Whereas with kumquat, it is actually the rind where, which is used to make marmalades and flavour different dishes, and the pulp inside is not really used that often. So what kumquat helps us to do is it helps us to see the opportunities on, on, of unexpected things. So it's very much a um, oil of abundance and bringing in abundance, but bringing in abundance from unexpected ways. So whenever we are trying to expand ourselves, to think outside the square, get outside of our comfort zone, we often only know what we know. And Kumquat helps to bring in good fortune, bring in opportunities from totally unexpected ways. You know, I use this a lot when I am kind of looking for further abundance, but I'm like, I don't know where it's going to come from. Bring them Kumquat in that way. So whenever you need to jump outside the box and be fruitful and expand in some way, Kumquat's going to be an absolutely amazing oil to use. Although the symbol for Aquarius is a water bearer, they're actually an air sign. And you'll definitely know this if you know an Aquarian, because they're always in their head. And this is a good thing. They're very intellectual and they're always theorizing in that type of way. However, there is always a danger if you've got too much Aquarian energy that you're always in your head, always in thought, always pondering, always contemplating, but never actually in action. This is where sandalwood essential oil can be really amazing. 
Sandalwood helps to connect us to the heavens, connect us to divine inspiration, but also channel that down and bring that into physical reality. The other thing as well, sometimes when Aquarians are in their head, they're often waiting for the rest of the world to catch up and they can be a little bit harsh in the way that, why isn't everyone getting this great idea? I've worked out how to make everything better. Why doesn't everyone understand? And Sandalwood reminds us that we can only all evolve together. We're only as strong as our weakest link. So it really helps that connection. The interesting thing about sandalwood essential oil is, or will sandalwood trees, is they actually can't grow by themselves. They must grow near another plant and they form a, a codependent relationship where sandalwood relies on the root system of another tree um, for nutrients such as nitrogen and so on. So it teaches about interdependence and there is that tendency with that aquarium to go, I'm the revolutionist, I'm going off and to forget everyone else or not to be able to connect with everyone else to bring them along with the good idea as well. By working with sandalwood, it'll allow you to form those connections with people. And instead of you just being the revolutionist, you're being the revolutionist within your community and you all work together to make this world a better place. Sandalwood really harmonizes that. It also really helps with meditation and allows you to get deeper, um, I guess, introspection, vision, connection, and everything you want when we're dropping into that Aquarian energy of theorizing how to make this world a better place. Okay, let's have a serious talk about that Aquarian nature. Now, with that great ideas that Aquarians are always coming up about, you know, if we have too much Aquarian energy or if the Aquarius is actually unbalanced, they can become a bit arrogant. I know it all, I've worked it out, why haven't you got it? Catch on up. And this is where lemon myrtle is really great. Lemon myrtle resonates with our solar plexus chakra. Now, this is about personal power. When it's overactive, we dominate other people and we can become arrogant, bossy, or when it's underactive, we can actually become shy and hide our ideas away and don't work collaboratively. In order for a community to grow, evolve and become better, whether that just be your local community, whether it be your country or the entire world, we all need to be on the same page. And what I love about Lemon Myrtle is it's this great equalizer, bringing everyone on the same page. So if in the Aquarian nature, someone is getting a little bit arrogant, a little bit bossy, then Lemon Myrtle settles that down. It allows us to see how we are all you know, brothers and sisters helping each other out, that we all have different gifts to share and to honor that in different ways. So whenever there is a bit of a power struggle and that's kind of, we're losing this, losing that sense of community, then lemon myrtle is really great. I love to use lemon myrtle. I love to diffuse it or even clean spaces with it, um, either energetically or even physically, whenever there's gonna be a meeting where you've got different people with different great ideas that are all gonna to come together and we've gotta to kind of come with a unified approach to move forward. That's where Lemon Myrtle is absolutely amazing. And you can see why that would be absolutely great with that Aquarian energy as well. So those are my five. Well, I think I snuck in a few more than five, seven, didn't I, with those three from the Bitter Orange Tree. But those are my five different plants um, that I really think resonate nicely with that Aquarian energy. I'd love to know if you're an Aquarius, if you have a lot of Aquarian energy, or if you're you know, really open to that idea of expanding community, what oils come to mind and what do you like to use um, for that as well? Please share with our nature loving community and leave some comments in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet, blessed be.